Hey, Super Knocked Up fans, here's Jeff Burns. We're at the end of Comic-Con 2013 in San Diego, and I'm with Mark Christopher Lawrence, who you may know from many things, but props to the show. Chuck, how's it going? I'm good. How you doing, Jeff? Very good. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for so, having me. So, what, uh, first off, tell people, what were you doing here at Comic-Con? Uh, well, we're just walking around, doing some man on the street kind of stuff, uh, seeing some panels, uh, getting a little bit of B-roll for our stuff, you know. Sort of taking in the vibe and enjoying Comic-Con as usual. Awesome. I hear you also may went to a party or two. I went to a few parties and I tell you, the Maxim party, Maxim slash FX party was fantastic. I wish I was there. That sounds really good. Just that was Maxim. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. It was that. <laughs> Dancing the whole nine. How, how many times have you been to Comic-Con? Um, I don't know. Many. Many. At, at least eight. Awesome. Yeah. Hopefully someday I'll be an eight if Comic Con. <laughs> this was my first one. What? So, how about this? What is? What's the best part about Comic Con for me? It's just like meeting the people and the fans and everything. I, I think I think definitely walking around, watching people in their costumes, uh, seeing how they are enjoying it. That's that that's more fun for me than anything. What's What's the best costume you saw today at the con? Uh, this year, the best costume at the con um, had to be the dragon. Um, we're walking down this street right here, and we're doing some man on the street stuff, and I see this dragon coming, and it had like a person in front of him that was sort of like the dragon uh, wrangler slash crowd mover, and I was like, wow, there's a dragon, and it walked right up to me, and then it went, ah, and it scared the crap out of me and my crew. <laughs> so, so yeah, that was good. That, that was the best. Nice. So before this, I was telling you about my Super Knocked Up female supervillain gets pregnant by a superhero, and they have to raise the baby together. What do you think about that idea? I'm thinking... Uh, that's probably going to be pretty funny. Well, I think so, but I wrote it, so, you know, I'm a little biased. Uh, so I hear you you might want a guest star, if supervillain. Hey, if, if there's, uh, you know, a villainous arc that I could play, that'd be fantastic. I think that'd be fantastic, too. I think our fans would think that's fantastic as well. You know, I hope so. I, I hope your fans are my fans. I, I think I think our fans pretty much love Chuck and, yes, you. I would to say so. Uh, good, 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 good. So let's get cracking. Let's get it going. I, I will be writing it very soon. Did you, uh, Zachary Levi here, does the uh, Nerd HQ at Petco Park, did you get over there at all? Got over there a couple times, yes. In fact, I saw Zach um, uh, after the FX party. We, uh, David and I went over and, and went up and hung out and watched, watched the fans dancing and stuff, and Zach came up and you know, we chatted a little bit, yes. Nice, so I didn't get to go over there. What, 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 is it, what goes on over there at Petco Park? What does he do? Oh, it's fantastic. It's, 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 the Nerd HQ is basically um, a place that's open almost 24-7. I think they close it down like 3, 4 in the morning. Uh, there are gaming stations, um, food, merchandise. Uh, he does panels there. Um, in fact, when, when we were there the first day that we went over there, Vin Diesel was on a panel there. Um, all the money that he that, that he raises from the panels goes directly to Operation Smile, and uh, which is a fantastic charity. Uh, for two hundred and forty dollars, uh, doctors volunteer their time to fix a uh, kid's smile with a, with a cleft palate. And Zach has done a tremendous amount of work to raising money for that. That's really awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. So what uh, what stuff do you have coming up for your, your own projects? Uh, right now we're we're, we're uh, doing a lot of uh, uh, of our stuff here in town, where which are, are all comedy related sort of things, uh, live comedy as well as film things. Um, we're in pre pre production for a documentary about myself. Uh, we're also doing um, uh, uh, the Chronicles of Rick Roll, which is a, a big feature. Um, I start tomorrow. Our Two days from now, on a small independent film called Cooties. Uh, just you know, a lot, a lot of things going on, and lots of stand up. In fact, I may be at a city near you, so if you want to go to my website and send us a message and, and say, you know, in the contact spot, say, hey, come to our city, get your friends to do the same, and I'll, I'll go through the emails and, and, and look and see where the most people are coming from, and we'll make sure that city happens. Awesome, do that. Where, where is there a Twitter that people could find you at? Uh, Twitter, M A R K C H R. L A W R E N C E. I'm very easy to find. Just Google me, you can find it all. Awesome. So definitely do that. And watch for season three, possibly new evil supervillain and super knocked up right here, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Jeff. It's good to see you. You too. Hey, as hot as I was last night at that party, you're lucky I'm wearing pants at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
villainous arc.